Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Cesar, and now we're, uh, we're about reacting to something else YT called I Was a Weird Kid. Now, if you haven't seen, if you haven't seen my previous videos about me reacting to a, uh, uh, what was it again? Oh, yeah, Esmo movie, Jeffy Gets Stuck. If you haven't seen that video, please check it out. Also, if you're not subscribed to his channel already, channel already please subscribe. Also, leave a like on this video. Also, comment down below. And if you want me to shout it out in my next video, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and let me know in the comments down below that you did that. And yeah, that's, that's all I would say. So, enough of me talking. Let's get on with the video. So, so yeah. So, go check out the hoodie. It's in the merch store right now, including a poster and some stickers. So, do, do, okay. Do, bye. Do, bye. <laughs> I tried Vegemite for the first time the other day. Vegemite? Oh, dude, that's a lot. <laughs> what is that? Mmm! Uh, that smells horrible. Yeah, oh. it smells bad. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Is that I'm supposed ready. to be like a medicine? Almost <laughs> You're not afraid of anything. Conquer your fears. I'm not afraid of anything except for whale, sea, cucumbers, and heights. Mm. It's not that bad. It's not bad at all. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> you know, look like you're fine. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> it does look gross though. That was fun. Contrary to popular belief, I honestly oh, so don't think it's video, all that bad. I mean, it's freaking disgusting, like but not as bad as people make it out to be. Plus, I ate like a spoonful, and I'm pretty sure just saying that pissed off all of Australia. So yeah. Anyways, I was a weird kid, let's talk about that. According to my mom, I was a handful when I was growing up. At the age of three, I was super hyper, incredibly handsome, and for some <laughs> reason in love with bananas. I loved them so much to the point where my Why? mom had to literally stop buying bananas because otherwise, I would know. My little baby nanner senses would go off, and I would know right when one of those delicious yellow potassium filled boomerangs entered my house. I mean, and bananas <laughs> are healthy, so... If there was a banana in my house, by golly, it was going into my mouth. Wait, that... I didn't... I didn't that sound... sound right. I, I, I really... I really like bananas, but I'm... I'm... I'm not... It, not, not that there's anything wrong with putting a <laughs> banana in your mouth. I, I was... I was... I was... Just gonna eat the bananas. <laughs> I was three. One day my mom yeah. decided to buy some bananas, but she knew if I saw them, they would immediately be devoured. So instead of putting them on the kitchen table with the rest of the fruit, she decided to find a hiding spot. Hmm, where should I... The top cabinet? No, I probably forget it's there. Ah, <sighs> under the... Under the sink? No, he can definitely reach down there. Yeah. Um, how about... Uh... Ah, on top of the fridge. She knew my weakness. The only thing that could stop me from acquiring those golden arches of mushy fridge. deliciousness. Tall things. At first, Tall I things. didn't know they were up there, but one day I was watching some Teletubbies, sipping on my sippy cup, and enjoying a relaxing day of not having to worry about taxes. When suddenly, the power goes out. What? What happened? What is this? Where are my Teletubbies? Uh, he <laughs> hello? Excuse me? Tall lady person? Y you see a problem here? Anything at all? My Teletubbies have vanished, and I don't have object permanence figured out yet, so I think they died. So fix that. Get me my Tubbies. I need my- Why aren't you listening? Hmm. Seems like the power went out. I'll be right back, sweetie. You stay right here. Finally! Now, what am I supposed to do? Just sit here? Ugh. <sighs> Probably gonna die of baby boredom before she even returns. <sighs> I could go for some apple juice right now. What is an apple? What is huh? juice? Ah, what? Where the frick is that tall lady person with I know my tail? Tele but that's tele it's kind of weird. <laughs> Hello. It was like <laughs> destiny. No matter how far you keep us apart, the universe knew. The universe knew that those bananas were meant to be digested by my stomach fluids. According to my mom, she was looking for her phone to call up the electric company to see if she needed to pay a bill, but forgot she left it on the kitchen counter. So she walked out of her room, went back downstairs, went to grab the phone, and to her surprise, saw me just sitting on top of the fridge, dangling my baby <laughs> feet, living the high life, and eating bananas. She said she had no idea how I got up there, and I was just, well, well I was just there. <laughs> Probably climbed the counter. How, how did you even get up there? Laugh while you can, mother. Because I can now see the peak of your hiding abilities. Well, I'm only beginning to tap into mine. <laughs> did you just climb up? You see, I have finally realized the legend. <laughs> okay, I think you had your fun. Let's 
get down now, you little turd nugget. That's right. Turd nugget? You're not dealing with the average baby anymore, mother. I. Oh, it says Kami Hami Aha. It was right, right there. I have no idea how I got up here. Oh, now it says Get me down from here, please. Fast forward a little, and my imagination is going ham in my newly kid form body. What? <laughs> there isn't really much I could do at that age because, well, I can't drive, go places by myself, stay up past eight, watch rated PG 13 movies, or even drink. My juice right. boxes. Oh. Filled oh. with wine. So I would just let my imagination <laughs> unwind a bit he and play it. a good old game of pretend. I would mainly just conjure up your typical kid stuff. You know, the kind of things that a seven-year-old would probably, most likely, definitely be in. Shadow, we need to calculate the amount of money that we Shadow? made throughout the year and subtract 25% of it to uh, give to the government. Shadow, the that's wrong. We even did the math right and hoping we didn't forget any extra cash we collected I like from how he just did, uh, before this. I just like how he just put, like, the plushy picture on there. Facility detonates. Don't you bring so, my taxes. mother into this. Okay, okay. Before you make fun, yes, I had a Shadow the Hedgehog doll. I mean action figure. And yes, he was awesome. I used to do everything with that doll. Action figure. Shadow was the homie. During the summer breaks, I had a cousin who we should call King Waldorf, who would come over to my house to hang out. But like I said before, we were children and there's not much you can do as a child except letting your imagination run wild. So, yeah. that's exactly what we did. Usually through cute, creative. innocent little superhero battles. Damn, not here. Shadow, no! <laughs> this sound effects oh, for Shadow. There he goes. And I hope he sends my condolences to Maria. <laughs> and as for you. Maria. <coughs> Ouch. You thought you could defeat me? A weakling like you? <laughs> mm. <laughs> You son of a bitch! Nah, uh, uh. Your dad's home. <laughs> Your dad's you home. Killed my so best you can't friend. say it. Well, look at the bright side. You'll be joining him very soon. <coughs> Any last words? Yeah. <laughs> As a great man once said, you were too slow. Wait, what? Wasn't that Sonic? <laughs> Yeah, he's right. Sonic's the one who said that. <laughs> As you Sonic's can see, not a man, too. Got a little dramatic. Now that I think about yeah. it, my seven-year-old self would be amazing at making horrible fan fictions. To be honest, though, it's not too weird for a child to be playing pretend, but after that day, I'm pretty sure I stopped talking to my cousin for a solid month because he murdered my Shadow the Hedgehog doll. <laughs> I mean, action fig- Fast forward a couple more years, 8th grade, I believe, and my shenanigans still haven't really let off. So, me and a couple kids used to love playing hide-and-go-seek in the dark around our apartment complex. Probably not the safest thing in the world, but, yeah. eh, could be worse. Could be doing drugs. Some kids used to hate <laughs> playing with yeah. me because of how scary it would be when it came to me seeking, and how frustrating it would be when I would hide. The reasoning behind that is because I was one of the few kids who didn't really care about bugs and junk, so I'd literally just hide in the bushes waiting for my next victim. Or I'd go full-fledged ninja mode and literally hide in the shadows so no one could see me at first glance. One day we were playing and people were starting to understand how I worked. As soon as the game started, the seekers and hiders would check for bushes and take a second glance at dark areas just to find me. They were catching me left and right to the point where I needed to develop an entirely new strategy. So, my 14-year-old self decided it would be a great idea to go to the camping store with my mom and buy things a child like myself should so you just not them? be buying. I decided to buy a ski oh, wait, mask, no. a black sweater, a thing of rope to trip oh, my Oh, okay, never mind. I thought, he, I thought he, they were in the middle of finding him, but he just ditched and then went somewhere else. But now he's preparing Victims something. Victims to black pants and black seat. running shoes. You can see where I'm going with this. Yeah, you might be asking, black. wait, Adam, didn't this raise any flags with your mom? Dude, I don't even know. <laughs> she was just going with the flow. I mean, it was my money, so she didn't really care. However, comma, the cashier was a comma. little bit more cautious. I'd like to buy all this stuff, please. Uh, okay. Thanks. So, uh, what are you doing with all this stuff? <laughs> oh, you know, the usual. Okay, okay. Um... Can you wait here, please? Gee willikers, sir. Of course Can I call can. call police? <laughs> so dumb. Moments later, he came back, and of course, he brought his good old jolly friend, security guards. So, why are you buying all these things? You know, the usual. What does that even mean, the you 
kid, what are you planning on doing with all this stuff? I'm gonna put it on and hide in the shadows, waiting for my next victim to unknowingly pass by. You victims? And what are you gonna do when you get a hold of said victims? Put my hands on them, of course. So they lose the game. Oh, so this is a game to you. Okay, I've heard enough. You're going away for a long time, pal. What? Yes, Hi hide and go seek is a game. Duh. What else would I be using this stuff for? To rob Wait. someone? Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. You're wrong. I then explained to the security my plan to hide in the shadows like a full-fledged ninja, and they seemed pretty chill afterwards. One of the guards was even like, Not gonna lie, wish I thought of that as a kid. I then get back <laughs> home, and once again, we all start playing hide-and-go-seek in the dark. Of course, my plan worked flawlessly. No one was seeing me coming. I was tagging kids left and right, pouncing at every opportunity I could. No one was able to find me. Once again, I was the ninja assassin warrior I was respected for being. Yep, it was a great time to be alive. Oh, and also what? the police were called for a suspicious character wearing a mask. Okay, bye. I love you. <laughs> they were. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, comment. I mean, yeah, that's what happens when you're outside with a ski mask and wearing a black everything, black shirt, black shoes, and black pants. So, that was the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye, everyone.